All right, good morning. Uh, hope we are all doing well. Hello, Original Sonny 4. Uh, yes, you have caught a stream. Welcome to the stream. We're going to do the Enigma today. Uh, we're going to do the back half of April 2020. Uh, hopefully I sound okay. Thank you for the follow. Uh, this is uh, this might actually be, sadly, uh, the last Wednesday stream uh, that I do. I might be switching over to Tuesday next week. Uh, my plan is that uh, I'm thinking about changing it so that I am on, let me just sit up a little bit here, uh, that I'm on Tuesdays before Quizzy Dan stream uh, so that we can lead into his stream. Um, not everyone does, but I, I wanted to do the a few issues uh, so people could get to see them. And then next week, we're probably going to do something else. Um, but uh, I might change, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking about changing my schedule to Tuesday and Friday with Tuesday being a 10 o'clock start. Uh, and then that's going to transition into Quizzy Dan and uh, his uh, Puzzle Boat uh, stream. Uh, so, uh, you know, just a, yeah, just a little bit of marketing synergy there. Uh, but I, I figured it'd be nice, A, to be able to carry on one stream to the other. And also, it's a little bit less divisive of my time. It makes one four-hour block instead of two two-hour blocks, which, from a creative standpoint, usually when they talk, when they when you look at uh, things that advise creative people how to best manage their time, it's to have large blocks of time dedicated to things as opposed to do this task, do this task, do this task, because the creative mind doesn't work that way. You have to kind of sink into it. So that's part of where that is. Um, but we are doing April 2020. Uh, we're going to pick up with uh, flat 19. Uh, you'll notice that it's a little cut off on the left hand side of the, of the solution, uh, just simply because we, I, I wanted to include all the space for the answers, but the double octagon that is the answer to uh, flat 16 isn't really that important, so I just moved that down. Uh, but let's go ahead and begin. Uh, if uh, anyone wants an explanation for a flat type, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and just presume people are familiar with flat types at this point, uh, or at least those who are currently watching the stream, which I think right now is a, a good three or eight of you. Wow, eight people so far. All right. Uh, let me know, by the way, if I sound okay. Um, hoping that there's no weird beef feedbacks or anything like that. Let's see. All right. 19, palindrome. One psalm song on Passat. Passat or Passat? I am embarrassed that I do not know how to pronounce that word. Uh, which says that the sea fled and Jordan turned back and asked why should one flee. And the other turned back, adds a prefix, the last, Letter tenant the start to make both verbs non past. Pesach. Okay. Uh, one psalm, song on Pesach, which says that the sea fled and Jordan turned back, asked why should one flee, 
and the other turned back, adds a prefix the last letter, tenet. Um, so the last letter, I'm assuming, of the Hebrew alphabet. Because uh, ooks, this issue, I think, have been, there have been a, a number of Hebrew letter related flats. Like in the previous issue, they were scientific uh, taxonomy names, uh, where the scientific name, the species in the genus were repeated. So like a Kula Kula is a wolverine. Uh, gorilla Gorilla is a gorilla, not surprisingly. We learned that a Coretta Coretta is a, uh, what was it? A, a long horn something. All right. Uh, let's see. Last letter. Ta. So ta at. And that would be a palindrome. That long dash there indicating that the two here is really part of this phrase, while ta is really part of this. Yeah, I um I caught so what's funny is I knew about the ceremony and I actually didn't think I was going to win. Uh, I have a very I tend to have a, a bit of a, a a detrimentally negative opinion about myself. And so I knew that I was nominated for the Lifetime Achievement Award and that the work, you know, I worked with Palindrome on uh, the 2022 Mystery Hunt. I know that was up for, for it as well. Um, but I, I just generally didn't feel like I had much of a shot. So I didn't really uh, take part of the nominations of the voting or catch the ceremony un and until I got this note uh, on Twitter, on sorry, on Discord. Uh, from our palindrome uh, discord uh, that we had one best hunt of the year and by the way foggy broom got lifetime achievement I'm like, what 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 oh my god oh, I, I, oh crap i should be there and i got there i think just as uh justin was wrapping up the stream so i felt like i can't jump in now that would just be really horrible so i did a little i did a little speech on the bravo discord uh, and I thanked everyone, and I really am grateful that uh, so many people, I guess it, was, it wasn't close. Um, I, I'm grateful that so many people uh, chose me for that, for that Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, you know, puzzle, puzzles are definitely a passion for me. Uh, it, is, it is my great, you know, it's the thing, you know, when they say, do what you love, this is what I love. And so it was really nice. Yeah, I, I was stunned by that. Somebody else told me, like, yeah, we would have rioted if you weren't picked. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm just saying Mark Halpin's up there, you know. Um, but really, I, I spend a lot of time looking at what other people do and thinking, how can I how can I do better? Uh, and what I love is that in the last, like, eight years, um, puzzle hunting has just exploded. You know, we now have the Galactic Puzzle Hunt. Uh, Microsoft Puzzle Hunt is going to be open for everyone for the first time in forever, which is insane. Uh, we have all these, like, you know, we have Puzzle Pine, we have all these other great things. It's just, uh, it's just awesome uh, the way that the puzzling community has grown and, and expanded. So I'm glad to be a part of it, uh, even if I don't necessarily participate as much as I should. So let's go ahead and uh, keep going. I'm going to stop talking about myself. That's why I left so much room here at the top. It's for my eager to grow. Good morning, Skull. Uh, word, word deletion. The mischievous children tried hard to erase all signs they'd been using my tablet again. The mo of remains was still just showing through. Faint clues on my moment were left by those men. All right, so le mot juste is the exact right word for a situation. Uh, and I feel like that's the reason why juste is... Uh, is italicized there. It makes me wonder if this is going to be French, um, if the words here are going to be French. Uh, we're looking for a moment as a 10, and it has to be a tablet of some sort. Now, it might not necessarily be a computer tablet. Um, oh, I've, I've got it. Yeah. Uh, this is a fun word. I love this word. And I'm going to hopefully type it correctly. So the word is palimpsest, 
And uh, it's basically when you have text that overwrites other text. Uh, so, for example, if you were to you know, write a piece of graffiti on the bathroom wall that said, you know, for a good time call, and somebody came over and wrote something over it, that'd be a palimpsest. Uh, and that is the most base way I can describe a literary concept. Uh, and then if you take imps out of this, uh, you're left with paylist. Yeah, uh, Ook wrote um, a palimpsest uh, for 2008's Mystery Hunt. Um, that was that was along those lines. Uh, I don't remember the exact details, but it is in the 2008 hunt, if you want to go back and look for it. And good morning, Ava, uh, A.V. Gotts, and good morning, Arch Davidson, and good morning to Akila, and good morning to Original Sony, and it's called, and I, I hope I've said hello to everyone as they come in. All right. Trans Deletion Bank. Oh, good Lord. All right. Um, so this is good morning, Shanahan. This is this is insane. I'm I think what this means is that I don't even know what this means. It looks like we're going to have three sets of three words. We're going to have a bank and two words based on that letter bank, and then a trans deletion of the first bank and two more words that are based on that second bank, and then one more delete, uh, trans deletion and two more words that are based off that letter bank. Much like, good morning, MN Badger. Uh, much like the, the keywords here, road, ardor, dorado, are all one set. Adu, dado, dudad, or another set. Do, dod, dodo, or a third set. So the nine words we're coming up with here. I praise your pear-shaped music. It is lovely, Monsieur E. A symphony with organ. Formidable, Monsieur C. Do that, Dorado, do. Chez Louis, they sip at their adieus. To pamper winter ailments, also spirits they may choose. To that aromatic dado, maybe stone Greek road. Merci, but I am told by the flavor of these scones. These are the dodo that I eat, such salty, such tones. Through ardor are our meetings. We remember them forever, and we, as we listen to great music, and together come to share. All right. Thank you. I hope you appreciate that lovely little uh, excessive, excessive voice work there. Uh, all right. So do that, Dorado, and do are all part of that thing. I do as a drink. Uh, Adu is a six to pamper winter ailments. So probably like a hot toddy or something like that, but it's, it's got to be, uh, I yeah, I was kind of going full in the air there a, a little bit, like French Greek, somewhere between French and Greek. Dodo, I feel like have to be like blueberries or something like that. Ardor is a nine. So five, five, and five are probably the two people who are being who are in discussion here, and I kind of want E to be Elgar, but I don't think that that's right. Um, pear shaped music. Uh, would be Eric Satie, three pieces in the shape of a pear. Uh, so that would make sense with the E there. So Sati is probably our our third five, and then the other six and seven are based on that. And I kind of like that because that's giving me a plural for... Uh, actually, no, that wouldn't work. wouldn't be a plural. Tisane. I think I'd do as Tisane. Uh, and then... Oh, uh, Retsina? I think Retsina is... Road. Okay. Let's start getting these down. Because this is going to be a lot. So, Ritsina, uh, Tisane, and Sati should be our banks. Uh, and I want it 
to be Saint Sari. Is that? I'm, I think that's the last name of a composer. Saint Sen, Camille Saint Sen. Okay, and that's where the E and the C are coming in. They're standing for Eric and Camille. Um, so that's our do. That's our doodad. Our Dorado is 10. So it's got to be... Entertains? Entertains. For the Dorado. Uh, we still need a 9 for Ardor. What is Dodo and Dodd? I am satiated. So satiate for the 7. And Anaset for the... Um, no. That can't be Anaset. I think Anaset is Dado. All right, two more to go. Um, those are the, these are the, so Dodo is probably a plural and it's probably a plural because it's the only S that appears in there. So the, the, the rest of it has to be A-T-I-E repeated. And then finally, Ardor is some letter bank of Ritzina, that's nine letters. Uh, transient. That would go along with the ideas of the theme. We remember them forever, but the meetings themselves are transient. 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 Um, those are the... Tastiest. There we go. It's not a verb at all. It's an adjective. All right, so reading this with the, and without the voices, I promise I won't do the voices. I praise your pear-shaped music. It is lovely, Master Eric. A symphony with organ, formidable, and Monsieur Camille. Uh, Saint-Saëns entertains Satie, no. Saint-Saëns entertains Satie chez Louis. They sit at their Tessains. To pamper winter, winter ailments, all so spirits they may choose. Pythether aromatic anisette, maybe strong Greek retzina. Merci, but I am satiated by the flavors of these scones. These are the tastiest that I ate, such subtleties, such tones. The transient are our meetings. We remember them forever as we listen to great music and together come to share. There we go. All right, cool. That was a, that was a workout. All right. I am glad that I was able to do that without uh, looking anything up. And I'm, I can't, I don't know where I pulled Tissane from. I really don't. I've seen the word before. I've, I've, I know the word. I just don't think I could. It would ever really come to mind if you asked me to like do a do that. Overloaded phonetic false plural. I crave a crispy snack. Got crackers made of clack. I'm sorry, but no dice. Will these saltines suffice? All right. So this is probably a plural based on die and dice. Um, and it's phonetic, so it has to be the, the, the sound. And typically a plural S at the end of it, it's going to be a Z sound. Bs, yeah, uh, a Z sound, but in dice, it's an S sound. So that's, I think, where, uh, yeah, I think it's rye and rice. Because you can have rye crackers, you can have rice crackers, and that would be the false plural based on dying dice. All right, 23. Third letter change, four. Second is a variant. A second with a third, fourth, first, lurks under my bed. No fat, because it's a phantom and a nearly cubic head. Wow. Okay. Oh, um.
I have no idea where to go with this. It's it's going to be the same word basically repeated four times, just with three with four different letters as the third letter. And everything here probably is going to include one of those four words. So the fact that it's no fat, like that might be lean, for example, or thin, neither of which I think would really would really work. Um, a nearly cubic head. So I'm guessing third and fourth are both adjectives, and first is uh, first is a noun, and it's basically like second is the ghost, second is the name of the ghost. whatever the phantom is, a ghoul, for example, with a thin, nearly cubic head, tet, face, uh, I feel like there's a four-letter word for, for shade. I know there's gin, um, but I don't think that would really work here. Because first of all, I don't think uh, D-J-I-N is going to have three other words that you can replace the I. Uh, it's not going to be J-I-N-N. -N. Um, it's not going to be ghost, because ghost is in there. Ghost is not in there, actually. It could be G-O-S-T. But I can't think of anything, what would that become? Uh, airy? No fat. Unless thin has other like possibilities other than th then. Same with lean. Uh... Phantom synonyms. I'm not seeing this one, and it's like white, W-I-T-E, maybe? It has to be a variant, so it's got to be like a weird spelling of it. I'm, I think that that might be the worst way to get into this flat. I think figuring out what the third and fourth are are going to be the easiest way to, to break this open. No fat. Sinewy, gaunt. Also, the nearly cubic head. I mean, there, there's got to be a word that means like nearly cubic, but I can't imagine it's just four letters. Um, maybe wraith has a, a couple different variations on it. seen anything there. Good morning, Waterfall. Uh, Waterfall has a guess and Arch Stevenson has it. Arch, what is the the first letter of the four? I mean, a nearly cubic head would be like an oblong starts B. Like a Bane? Maybe he's got it. Bony. Bony, boxy, body. Bogey. There we go. And that would be the variant because it's usually spelled with Y. Uh, with an E, I mean. Uh, so, body, bogey, bony, boxy. Thank you for the help there, Arch. Good morning, Hologrow. 
All right, third letter change. Uh, we did that one already, sorry. All right, enigmatic rebate. Now, for those of you who, uh, who missed this in the last issue, a rebate is where, so a, a regular rebus is when you take the letters uh, of whatever the answer is and you just sort of read them in a different spacing or you just like interpret them differently. So for example, flat totally inverse might be, uh, flat to tally inverse might be what your answer is, but the flat totally inverse is how you might read it. So you just put the spaces in the, you know, the spaces in different spots and you get a different way to read it. Um, a rebate is different. A rebate is when you take uh, your answer words. In this case, they're all eight letters. You sort of arrange them first three, one, two, three, four. And then how you read them is you start with the first letter of the first word, first of the second, first of the third, first of the fourth, and then you just keep going down columns to read the whole thing, which means this is going to be insane. So this is going to take us the next 20 minutes. Please get yourself ready uh, at the very least. The uh, rebus, uh, the rubric in this, the rubric is I crunch your numbers like delicate rice paper. Here's your tax refund. Um, rice paper. Yeah, that is a haiku. Uh, N. Lawrence, former author, John McNeil. Uh, so haiku is going to enter this somewhere. And so is uh, whoever the, law, the author is, whoever, all that fun stuff. All right. A neo-Nazi four I met. Already we're off to a great start subject-wise. I'm so glad that this Twitch stream probably just got flagged for mentioning that word. Uh, by the way, I'd watched the season finale, series finale of Hunters last night. And ugh, eesh. If you love the first season of that show, you will not like the second season. A neo Yahtzee four I met, his three a giant terrier, let out a vicious roar, the pet then freely bit my derrier. The, this happened near the shore that set, let's see, northwest of Appenog, to river, and what's more, I'll bet that he has yet to strap a dog. Attesting multicultural perspectives and abilities, requesting that the vulture will connect with new civilities. I offered him a lay in sauce the pooch would find superior. The fruity one just saying here more taste than my posterior. All right. And I did re I did change the first letter of the third, the second part of the hyphenated word uh, to, to make it a little bit you know less offensive. Uh, should you watch the second? You should not watch the second season. Just just don't watch the second season. All right. So let's let's figure out where Appadog is. Uh, I need to open a browser because I have no browsers open right now. This new setup, um, the, the way I've got the screen set up here, I don't have to worry about browsers being open, which is nice. Uh, Appadog is in Warwick. So we're looking for a river near Appadog to the northwest. There's a tiny river there. I have to zoom in. I'm going to change how I'm searching for this because it's not coming up. Appenog River. Nearby River. Uh, there's Hunt River. Okay, I'm off to a good start here in, in not being able to find what river this is referring to. And I'm not even sure if it is in fact Rhode Island. So let's, let's see. Yeah, I'm surprised it actually does not include a, I'm surprised it doesn't include a, uh, a can be sung thing. So the three is a, a type of dog and I'm guessing it is a type of terrier, but a, uh, it is, Got the star next to it, so it's a proper name. Maybe Airedale? I don't know if. So I think the four, I'm going to put in the four. I'm not going to say the word out loud, but I think the four is going to be this. Uh, there's the Staffordshire, the, the Rusky Toy, Scottish Maltese, Airedale. Airedale might be right. The question is whether or not Airedale would be... Yeah, it is It is actually... No, 
that's going to, I think this is going to be haiku in there. And it's a CPA's haiku. So let's put in CPA. Okay, now let's figure out the rest of this. So the one, I kind of want that to be chutneys. And then that's going to leave whatever the river is in near Apanog. Uh, let's see how the rest of this is read. We've got CPA's haiku. R-I-T-E-N. So written, probably. N D H E I think I've got something wrong here. So that doesn't quite work. So if I assume that the W and the T is incorrect, Britain, maybe? John McNeil is Whistler, right? It's John McNeil Whistler. Oh, he's a trumpeter. Sorry, trumpeter. Uh, CPA's haiku. Why don't I just look up rivers in Rhode Island? And of course, I'm assuming that it is Apanog, Rhode Island. I mean, it could be a different one altogether. Um, I'm not seeing any that are the right length here, except for Ashaway. Quanduk could work, but it's a brook, not a river. Kikamuit is not the right length, but it is a great name for a river. Seven Mile is the worst name for a river. It's very boring. All right. Um, so maybe it's not. I wonder if there's other Apodogs out there. Yeah, it's it's Rhode Island is it. It's definitely Rhode Island. Of course, Rhode Island is small, so it might be that it's a uh, river in Connecticut. It's just northwest of Appanog might be in another state. Yeah, and if I go up, I got Pawtuxet River. Here we go. Pawtuxet. There we go. Have that last nope penultimate letters wrong. All right, and let's see if this actually works. Uh, written U X E T. So I think maybe chutneys might be wrong. I know the U is right, and then the T is probably right as well. If I do that, does that help? CPA's haiku written
I mean, unless it's NP uh, CPA's haiku written N, which would explain the N that's there. X is former. But then I'm not sure what UDH is. N U D. Maybe there's another name for chutney that I'm missing here. Uh, thick, fruity Himalayan sauce. Not really coming up with anything. Chutneys. Yeah, chutneys seems to be the only thing that really works there. So do I have skin? I mean, do I have something else wrong here? Because it, it almost makes sense, but not quite. Potoxid is definitely going to be correct. D.H. Uh, Lawrence. So that's DH. I mean, unless John McNeil went by Ted, but even then I wouldn't understand how the rest of this worked. I, I think that these are the four words. I just have no idea how the parse is supposed to work, which is, is technically, I think, part of what your solution is supposed to include. So I'm going to leave this for now, and hopefully we did not get it wrong, but I'm, I'm not hopeful. All right, let's go on to the next one. Was that 20 minutes? I don't know if that was 20 minutes or not. I think I lost a lot of people on that one. If you're still here, thank you. All right, letter bank. As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. The other times, I'd just stay home and meet nobody there alone. I'd binge watch Seinfeld, I adore, Festivus, and 4x4. All right, so letter bank, 4x4. Where is the base for this? It's not overloaded. I'm not seeing the three anywhere here. I'm guessing the 4-4 is a Seinfeld reference. Um, aside from Festivus, I'm not sure. Arch Davison thinks he's got it. Arch Davison, what do you think that you have? Like part of me feels like it's got to be that the 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 three is actually elsewhere in the issue, and that's what's throwing things off here. Because this is the April issue, so there are a lot of times where you'll see some like you know playful stuff. Also, a four four with a a three letter bank is pretty impressive. Stream died. Did I just lose my goddamn... Okay, good. I am not showing a break in streaming, so hopefully it's... It died briefly. Okay. But I still seem to be here. 
Okay. Sorry. Uh, so, let me sit up here for a moment. Uh, Arch, what do you have for the 4 4? Yeah, that's the tough thing. I can't figure out where the 3 is supposed to go. Yada, yada. Yeah, it's definitely going to be day. All right, so we should be on the lookout for day going elsewhere. Something weird's going on here. I think that there. this is not the first one that we've had that was weird where the, the base was not necessarily in the flat. But let's put base not in flat. There we go. Yeah, it could be very much like likely to be uh, very likely to be tomfoolery of some sort. All right, twenty six overloaded third sound change five two four two four not mw uh, from this little flat a sensation summer fruit a taste of Japan. So presumably five is five is a summer fruit that is in Japan. And 2-4 is going to be like where you can buy things. I'm going to take a quick look for Japanese fruits. And then I might be taking a quick uh, biological break. Nashi is a Japanese pear. Ringo is uh, an apple. Mikan is an orange. I'm betting it's Nashi. But I'm not sure what the 2 4 is. So it's an overloaded third sound change. Then it would be the sh changing in Nashi. Like Natri or something like that. Except it's 2 4 and it's all capitalized, so it wouldn't be that. Uh, let's see. The Mikan is the Mandarin Orange. I don't know if it's necessarily something I would consider just. Like some of these are just simply the Japanese name for the fruits, while others are definitely like specific to Japan. Like Yuzu is definitely like a, something that you do not see outside of Japan. Yeah, and the Japanese pair is definitely different. N-A-S-H, N-A-S-H-I. Yeah, I'm just not figuring out what the two four might be. All right, I'm going to go on to the next one because I don't really have a whole lot of other things I can go off of here. We'll come back to that one. 27, overloaded fourth letter change, 844. It seems there was a great, enormous Cannavalia ensiformis fad in post-Elizabethan Britain. In that age we see thin, chili recipes galore, which that legume is perfect for. Um, so I want this to be Jacobian, and I think it's Jack Bean. J J Jacobian and Jack Bean. Because I believe Jacobian is what's referred to as uh, post-Elizabethan. 
I could be wrong. I often am. 28. 257. Hominid. First one uncle worked in bio studying how creatures done. Now each year he leaves Ohio off to Georgia's winter sun. Uh, oh, my great uncle worked in bio studying how creatures migrate. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice straightforward one. Freewheeling Chop and Swap. Okay, we're going to need the guide for Chop and Swap. I believe it is uh, like you, you, so let me see if I can come up with a good one. If you were to take Bertinelli and do a Chop and Swap on it, you could get Libertine. Uh, if you were to do a Chop and Swap on Panics, you could get C-SPAN. It's, I believe, taking out a letter in the middle and then swapping the two remaining portions. And it was the subject of a uh, mystery hunt puzzle back in 2005, I think. Yeah, it was 2005. It was Normalville. I do not see Chop and Swap in here in the MPL5. I think the Enigma guide needs to be updated. All right. Freewheeling Chop and Swap. On the one, as bold teens, we stayed two and snuck out to repel off and woo our attractive NC level dates. Then we clambered back up, sans our mates. Uh, on the sly, on the on the plateau. So it's plateau. Take out the U, take out the second A, and you can switch those around to get up late. All right, I will be back in five minutes. Uh, I'm going to put on some music for you to enjoy while I am taking care of business, as it were. Before I do, I'm just going to ask, make sure you can hear that. And if you could not hear that, let me know. All right. How about that? That might work.
All right, I hope that gave you enough time to work on your resume. Time to stop the player. All right. And let's come back up. Okay, sorry about that. Let's get rid of that little back in five. All right, 30. Phonetic word deletion, phonetic charade. So the phonetic word deletion here is sweet, which is interesting. Uh, phonetic charade is chocolate. And this feels like it's a rebus. All right, so interesting what's going on here. Um, they run German articles all about craft, slash. A stillness and torpor are in it when daft, slash. Whatever sums up in an audit to nines, slash. Seattle's without one and therefore inclined, slash. Rappers the bucket, the faded Boleyn, center or torn, compensation as in, weight loss allowance for transported stuff, Latin and others, is that clear enough? Need if you need if you're total if you total your car in a chalk cheek when you lit with your folks snarly talk. So this looks like it's going to be another uh, form. Um, so wrapper here is kick. I'm I'm so confused. Uh, so, wrapper and center feel like the whole thing. Chalk and lit is the phonetic part of the chocolate. Uh, so wrapper here is kick kicks the bucket, but I think it's cluing dies. This is going to be a mess. Uh, ripped. Uh, kicks, ripped. Yeah, okay, so sweet is cryptic here. And what we're looking at is a semi-cryptic Uh, whatever chocolate is, I want to say it's going to be rectangle, semi-cryptic rectangle. Uh, it is ripped in kick, rectangle. All right. Um, they run German articles all about craft. German articles would be Durs. Uh, darters? I think it's darters. All about being an indication that we have to put, make it a uh, container. A stillness and torpor are in it when daft. Um, inertia. It is a stillness and torpor are inertia and are in it when daft is an anagram indicator. Whatever sums up in an audit to nines. Uh, so nines would be any ads. Any is what and sums up as ads and then audit means that we're going to hear it. It's going to be a uh, homophone. So any ads. Uh, and then Seattle's without one and therefore inclines. I think that's going to be settles. Uh, and then that's going to give us uh, dies, which is kicks the bucket. Anne is the fated Boleyn. Ripped or torn is rent. Uh, tret is compensation as in weight loss allowance for transported stuff. Uh, et al is Latin and others. Is that clear enough? Ride is what you need if your car's in a wreck, and sass is cheap when you tangle with your folks. All right, there we go, semi-cryptic rectangle. Thank you.
31, homonym, 335, clued in order. If at the shop you wish to Xerox, you'll have to see rocks, see rocks. If at the shop you wish to Xerox, you'll have to pay for paper, pay for paper. Metathesis. Uh, metathesis is when you swap two letters in a phrase. Your mission analyzed this flat. You'll see it's not an Irish bull. Of comedy, I'm king, no joke. With joy and stardust, I am full. My fellows all rate me as good among the family I have pulled. Like a casino that's rolling in souls. Solus, the actor, is rolling in rolls. That's De Niro and De Niro. De Niro and De Niro. Uh, De Niro, of course, uh, was in... Analyze this, uh, King of Comedy, uh, Raging Bull, uh, Goodfellas, uh, Casino, uh, and I'm not sure what other, I, I think that there's at least one or two others in here that I'm not quite getting. Um, I want to say Stardust. He was in Stardust. But uh, yeah, De Niro's been in a lot of movies, not necessarily good movies. He was actually, you know, he was after all evil leader in Rocky and Bullwinkle, the live action film. So, you know, there's that. Uh, overloaded for Neta Curtailment. He played Shakespeare in Stardust. Good to know. Thank you, Sean. Uh, overloaded for Neta Curtailment. 6-4. She had no cash. She went out west. Auditioning, she gave her best. Success, she earned a minor part. She knew it was for her a start. She's happy with the role she's got. She'll not be groaning. That's her lot. All right. She'll not be... Starring leading Scald has got it. I feel like this is I'm not sure why I'm having difficulty with this one. I feel like it should not be that tricky. Uh, Scald, what do you have? I do want to finish by 11, and we're, we've still got a long ways to go. Akila's got it. Starving. Thank you. That makes sense. Starving and starring. All right, double cross. 7-6, seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. Uh, let's see, double cross. There's a group of flats that are all like this, which involve two words that switch parts, and it's it's sometimes difficult to remember what order they're supposed to go in. So, for example, this one is A, B, C, D, uh, A, D, C, B. Basically, they switch around their back halves. All right. Um, they push us all hard at the gym. It helps us to get and stay slim. My ego gets barely a four. They'd rather just one more and more. They three, lots of rough motivation. We work out our latent frustration. Although the gym makes me irate, it, I've made twos in losing some weight. All right. So one is something going to be something like punish or chastise or push. Uh, ego barely gets a, a pat on the head, a boost. They offer lots of rough motivation. They I want uh, leeway to be our two. I've made... But it's not going to be that, because that wouldn't be a plural. Arch Davidson has 34. I've made... Punish, berate, chastise. Uh, Arch, what do you have for the first letters of 7 and 6? 
the first seven and six, I should say, one and two. Gains, maybe, like something meaning gains P and S. Strides would work. And if it's strides, that means the three has to I. They provide. All right, so I think it's, I think seven, the second, the three is, is provide. And then stride, which means that's going to be start with proof. It's going to start with str. They'd rather just provoke and stroke. Thank you, Arch. 35, metathesis. The males compete on every front in sport who wins and love who's lost. Online, who has more posts, so lane, go lane. They vie regardless of the cost. So that's going to be uh, rival and viral. Word substitution and deletion. All right, so if we're looking at this correctly, we're going to take a five like baton, take the inner word at, replace it with is to get bison, and then if you just didn't add anything, you'd get bought instead. Here's a baton rather sad about an is, an is, is mischievous lad. From the bawn he stole swine, which is not very fine. The judge, he was formal at bison. If you sin, you will I will see that you cry some. All right, I know I did not read that well. Sorry, Nero. If you ever actually see this, which I doubt, you know. Um so Bon is probably Stai. So we're looking for baton. Here's a story. Let's try story here. All right. Um, so our at is or. He was formal or rigid. No. Bison here is the S T or Y. Stuffy. About an evil, mischievous lad. About a. Uh, but stevelry isn't a word. Stevelry. I feel like I should be able to get bison. Like it is embarrassing. It feels to me a little actually embarrassing to not be able to get bison. All right. Uh, so I, I did a quick quinoa search for it, and I got starch and arch, starchy and formal and starchy. We don't use arch enough, I think, as evil. 37. Extended transcross. I have no idea what this is going to be, to be honest. Uh, transcross is interesting. It is... Uh, let's see. The pieces of the word switch are A, B, C, D, A, C, D, B, D. For example, seal, rely, ser, and ally. So you basically you're taking the the first halves of the two words and putting them together, and the second halves of the two words and putting them together. But in this case, it's extended, and I'm not sure what the extended here is referring to. I'm guessing what it is is that you're given um, a b c d e f. And then the other two words are A, C, E, and B, D, F. That makes sense. 
Uh, let's see. When I'm hyped, I discover I'm in quite a lover. I huff and puff, and I hover. When I'm near, it's my model behavior to dawdle. I loaf and I lounge, and I waddle. Therefore, either I'm Beetlejuice when it goes died, or inert as a ship in a bottle. Now, this flat needs, seems, needs some evil solution retrieval. Revered, it's a weird tropic weevil, which has not to do, say, with El Prisio del, de los Frijoles, a melody's phrasing. Whether scabbard, scrabbled, or sluggish, with genera buggish, you get the last word. That's amazing. Okay. So, Revered is the seven. Melody's the six. El Prisio de la Fros. Uh, Presio is not, I'm not coming up with that as anything. Like, not so much, um, it's, it's like the price of beans, essentially. Yeah, as Holiger just put it in the chat. But seven has to be a tropic weevil. Uh, I guess Melody could be Latino. Not sure if I want that. I like that. Uh, so Betelgeuse could be Go Nova. So I think Died is Nova. Let's, let's start off with that. That would go along with uh, Latino for... That. And then we're going to put VEA at the end there. Uh, Liz is, I, I know Ziziva. I think Ziziva is a, like a, it's a word. Just not sure if that's what it's going to end up being. Um, when I'm lazy, it's my model behavior to doll. So that would make sense. And then T. I'm in quite a tizzy. So yeah, Ziziva. There we go. Did you know that we were going to be discussing Ziziva in today's chat? Post yes in the chat. All right. Overloaded letter bank, both inferable, 5366. Each night throughout the summer days, summer's days, he fills his pack with mayonnaise and mustards and the rest. He likes to take some long for refreshing hikes and then chow down within his tent on each delicious condiment. Uh, I want it to be first I want it to be aioli oil but that's not going to work because that's not a uh, that's not a letter bankable phrase um, he fills his pack with mayonnaise and mustard and the rest so I'm guessing that both six six and five three are going to be condiments of some sort like tomato catsup would that work for for the 6-6, six, six. and then the unique letters are T-O-M-A-C-S-U-P, which is the right phrase, and it's camps out. There we go. It's not another condiment. It is what he's doing. Phonetic Behedman, 6-6. Six, six. The scalawag frolicked in freight, and thus always for class showed up late. For band practice too, though also it's true, that for dinner each night he was great. All right. Um, I wanted to be like early or something like that for band practice too. Though also it's true that for dinner each night he was. So it can't be early because we're looking for a six. The scalawag frolicked and. Looking for a past tense verb. Partied. Hologro's got it. Hologro, what uh, what do you got? Let's give this to Hologro. 
Let's just get flat out give it to him. Prompt and prompt. Okay. That is excellent. Thank you. I'm a little embarrassed I didn't get that one. Uh, 40. Let's see how many we've actually got here. Let me just quickly flip to the end. Uh, 59. Okay. We've got about 50 minutes left, so we're going to shotgun the rest of these. The next 18. Uh, let's see, we've got 50 minutes left. That gives us about three minutes uh, for each one, I think. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three Overloaded Himnohomo. Uh, Himnohomo. Uh, if I could see a little wee animated salamander thrashing strums and pounding drums, I'd love to watch that Galagander. All right, so Tiny Newt. Tiny Newt, new tonight. Little Wee feels like it's cluing tiny. Salamander feels like it's cluing Newt. Toony, Toony Night. Akila's got it. Akila, what do you got? Let's give it to Akila. Thrashing strums and pounding drums. It's like draw. It's uh, percussion beats. Cartoon newt rock. That makes sense. That is very good. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Had the wrong four as newt. Alexa, stop timer. Alexa, start timer for three minutes. Overloaded letter bank, two, four, five, seven. When I bought a when I brought in a fossilized T-Rex whose bones weren't stuck in the usual silicate bones, but an orangish compound, one part ecocrypton to two parts of element eight, and I tripped on my door jam, the unstable substance exploded, and thus I was left with no answer encoded. All right, uh, so two, four, and five, seven. Two, four is our... So two parts is by. Element eight is, um, isn't it oxygen? No. Why can I not remember the correct order of the elements right now? Yeah, it is oxygen, okay. So oxide, maybe. So I think the five is going to be oxide, seven, or maybe dioxide. Oh, I like dioxide. X Dino. Um, and xenon dioxide. Okay. I'm not sure how Echocrypton gives you the... Uh, the xenon portion of it, but that would be right. They're both inert gases, so I'm guessing that's related. All right, uh, Alexa, stop timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Uh, Eka is an old way of saying go one row down on the periodic table. Thank you, Akila. That one did definitely work. Uh, overloaded metathesis. I never joined the Air Force, never joined the NAE, be never wrote a stallion, thoroughbred, or pin. To lots I've missed out there, I really cannot say I've ever learned Italian, Dutch, or Mandarin. I've never lost my heart, my pancreas, my kid. Me broke my word, though, when consider what that means. That last bit wasn't smart. It spoiled the end it did. What might, uh, one might conclude herein just ends justify the beans. All right, so... Spilt and split. A lot of unnecessary hyphens there. 
but spilt the beans and split the beans because navy, pinto, kidney are all beans, and that's uh, each one of them has been split. 43. I have no idea what the hell this is. All right. Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, start timer. Three minutes. 43, M, Rebus, M, 4-1, uh, M, 3, M, 6, M, cookies, M, crumble, M, quote, anti-fumble, quote, M equals fire truck, M, Kirk. So M is, re wait, replace spaces here. Um, I'm guessing that we're looking for 4, 1, 3, 6. That's the way. No, I mean, if I'm looking at it right, so if we if we take a look at the flat the way it's supposed to be, it should be cookies crumble, period. Next line, anti-fumble, and that is the 4136. So I want 4-1 to be, that's the... Um, but M has replaced all white space. And I say specifically white space because it's replacing new lines as well. I mean, it could be something... It could be something else altogether, like it's not necessarily cookies crumble, but a related saying like milks the spilt or something like that, or something. Yeah, it, that wouldn't make any sense. Them's the breaks. The M's the breaks. All right. Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Phonetic curtailment, 7-6. Horse meat, frog legs, escargot, en duet, serve de veau. It might appeal to philosophes, but such French coffee makes me cough. Uh, cuisine, cuisine. Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Now. Consonancy, 8-6, clued in order. Too much pot, the doctor said. In just that much, you'll end up dead. Drink water, it's a better bet. Delay your stay Delay your stay inside a vent. Um, I want to choose, yeah, caffeine and coughing. Ah, coffee. Yeah, I agreed, Arch. That hits way too close to home. Uh, Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Overloaded deletion. I cannot stand to drunk the worst or from Liverpool I cursed. He glared and said, well, I'm a burst. Um, so... I want to say it's Britain, but I don't think that that would be correct. And Liverpoolian is too long. One of the words has to be because they're they're from Liverpool. The other person, like Beetle or something like that. Um, and the other word has to basically be a word that means drunk. Dipso. Akilah's got this one, he thinks. Arch has got part of 46. Um, 
We're doing pretty good on time, but I did say we're going to shotgun it. Akila, what do you got? Daydream believer and a homecoming queen. Thanks for your extensive knowledge of monkey songs. Scows and sows. Okay. I don't I don't think I could have looked at that one forever and I don't think I would have come up with those. So thank you so much. Uh, Alexa, turn off timer. Three minute timer counter. Alexa, turn on timer for three minutes. Three minutes starting now. Rebus, 7447. I'm Rebus Y. My toothpaste, cream, shampoo, and such aren't as they seem. I'll tell you how. There are no tricks. I just add water to the mix. And stir it in. This gives me, gives to me my extra flexibility. <sighs> Yeah, it's very likely. I'm I'm pretty sure I've probably come across scows on a uh, uh, when doing the listener. I'm trying to understand what the parts of speech here are. And so, for example, I think the first seven is an adjective, but then four four seven y. I'm trying to, like, there's got to be a subject and a predicate here because it is a full sentence, but where, how does the Y fit in? Also, what exactly is the rebus here? Like, it's not, there's no obvious rubric, so there's probably something in the flat that's been changed. And I've seen Rybosh do this before where, um, like, reinforcement uh, was the answer and somewhere he had replaced a word meaning rain with a word meaning cement. So flexibility feels like it's going to be the word getting changed. Also, there's no shaving here. Like it's my toothpaste, cream, shampoo. Feels like... Oh, flexibility. I didn't even notice that, but yeah, it is flexibility. Let's, let's, uh, it is a different font. That is definitely not the same. So I kind of want that to be chai. Alexa, turn off timer. All right, we went over our three minutes. So we're going to save this one for later. We're shotgunning. We're doing pretty well, though. We, we did save a bunch of time uh, on the previous one, on the previous ones. Riboshes are also usually very, very difficult, so... Uh, 48. Uh, so Alexa set timer for three minutes. Three minutes starting now. Overloaded Spoonergram, 1074. Old Crosby stills, Nash and Young, intoned in corn's pure wrong. While I enjoyed some bath like stew, boy, I love that too. Um, chords pure wrong. I mean, it's a quartet, technically, harmonizing. Bass-like stew is just kind of weird. Like, it feels like 
I'm assuming it's referring to fish, like a... Like a, a fish, some sort of like soup. Tuna. Probably not ratatouille. Intoned in chords pure rum. I mean, it could be, it could be the four, it could be rock. And we could be looking at some sort of like word that's like, ends with awk. Quartet rock. No, I'm not spoonerizing that. I'm sorry. Didn't even think about that one. Um, Western rock, rest and walk. I feel like it should be the t like the ten should be first. It should be clued by Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, and toned in chords pure rock. And the seven four should be the bass like stew. Halibut, uh, what's a seven letter fish herring? It's got to be bass like, and I think that's like a flounder. Uh, bass likes fish, according to crossword clues, striper, uh, which would be seven. And we have passed the three minute mark for that. Um, Alexa, turn off timer. Uh, Keela's got it. Hologro's got it. Hologro, go ahead and let me know what you got. Also, I'm kind of down on my window there. Let's go ahead and lift me up. Lift me up. Lift me up. I'm, I'm rising to the occasion. Super group grouper soup. Oh, I like grouper. I can't believe I didn't get that one. I was just telling my wife the other day. I love grouper. Very nice. All right, grouper, super group, and screw. Forty nine. Thank you for that, Hologro. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Transposal. Grandma is an ardent dame. She says a stitch in times divine. Hugo's cozies other maids each a gift of her design. Um, knitter and trinket. Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Phonetic word substitution and deletion. Toady, owed, eyed, tidy, t. If that makes any sense. Uh, so this is probably going to be similar to the basin, uh, baton, bison one that we saw earlier. Just instead, toady takes owed, replaces with eyed to get tidy. But then if you just ignore owed and eyed altogether, you get t. The eyed of making teas has reached its toady at that owed. I hope you never thought they bought those veggies by the load. It's all homegrown, and there is not the slightest teeny tidy. A falsehood in that statement. That's a, They have a precept said by Heidi. The owner of that ode. It's fresh, it's ours, be glad, no gloom. The perfect sandwich side, the oh-so-perfect dining room. Uh, I want Toady to be pinnacle. And I want tidy to be particle, which would be art. 
the art of making pickles has reached its pinnacle at that inn. Yeah, there we go. I honestly thought that that was going to take a lot longer, to be honest. Uh, particle, art, in, pinnacle, and pickle. Okay, uh, Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Overloaded second letter change. One is part of phrase. Uh, both of means love. That's it. Hologar's got this one, apparently. Uh, Hologar, what do you got? Uh, I want it to be heart uh, or amour. Amore and adore. Okay. That is good. That's Amore, that's adore. All right. Uh, Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes. Starting now. 52, overloaded head to tail shift. I tried to bribe my way inside the club, the bouncer at the gate. First cracked his knuckles, then he eyed my cash and back and forth. We mate. All right. Uh, overloaded head to tail shift. I believe that means when we take the first letter of the four letter word, we move it to the end, but then we also change it. Um, uh, I want to say rolled. Robbed, bribed. No, I tried to bribe my way inside the club, the bouncer at the gate. I mean, I do want it to be, I, I, I want it to be robbed, but that really would, would not work. Rob itself is not a four. Looted. Punch first cracked his knuckles, then he eyed. So I think maybe yeah, scared, uh, hit, um, warned. I mean, the thing is, like, you're you're talking about the cash that you were offering as a bribe. So. Yeah, I, I I do believe you are correct, Alex uh, Arch. I should have like a little thing that that allows me to just do that as a as a macro. If I want to do this in the future, booted me, maybe forced me away, um, shooed. Uh, shooed me away, shooed me, mate. I'm just gonna make sure head to head to tail is what I think it is. If I can figure out where my cursor is. So in a head to tail shift, uh, as an example, emanate and manatee. Uh, and it does not involve a letter change. So this is one where the first letter goes to the end and it stays it stays as a word. Arch might have it. Uh, Arch, what do you got? Then he eyed my cash. Alexa, turn off timer. I, I You know what? I like that. OK and KO. I believe that those are pro perfectly valid. All right. Thank you for that, Arch. Uh, Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. Overloaded transposal. The son of the son of the son of a gun who commanded a boat and had exploits of note on the world's biggest sea 
looked a little to me like a cross between Noah and Borgnine and so a fair bit like his nautical forebear me thought. Um, DeSoto, I think, is going to be one of them. The son of the son of the son of DeSoto. But then it's also going to be an anagram. And it's got to be had exploits of notes on the world's biggest sea. Cross between Noah and Borgnine. I mean, that would be like Ernest. But I don't think that that would be it at all. Um, Hudson, DeSoto. Both of those are explorers. And I, I, I might want to not think of explorers. I just might want to think of boat commanders. So like a famous captain, one of them is clearly Crunch. Uh, a cross between Noah and Borgnine feels to me like it's got to be fairly clueful. Like Borgia. Seven of nine. Seven of Borg nine. I want to see. I want to see somebody do seven of Borg nine now. I had exports of notes on the world's biggest sea. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not seeing this one. That that too just screams to me that it wants to be D-E. Right? Oh, that's right. He was, uh, he was on Mikhail's Navy. Yeah, so it's got to be Mikhail. So what's an anagram of Mikhail that would work for Noah? Like La Shem? Uh, Alexa, turn off timer. La Shem uh, was actually the father of... Lamech was the father of Noah. So Lamech and uh, Mikhail. Thank you for the hologram. 54... Uh, Alexa said timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. 54, first letter change. The Syrian expert was quite unprepared. His talk on Syr rebels was hastily air. Um, the Syrian expert. So I kind of want Sir to be Hamas, but I don't think that's right. I think the two, three is either ad libbed or ad hoc. I think it's ad libbed because ad hoc is more of a, you wouldn't use that as a verb. Um, build a rebels, but it's got to be build a rebels, Syria. Uh, just looking at a quick group of list of rebel groups in Syria. So this will put me on a watch list. I'm not seeing anything that really screams out at me. Uh... Talab. Uh, Hologro's got it. Had to look it up. Uh, Hologro, what do you have? Is the is it an anagram of ad lib? Was I was I at least in the ball rate ballpark? Uh, 
Oh, first letter change. I'm sorry. Idlib. You know, it's really embarrassing when I do stupid things like that. Like, completely miss the fact it's not an anagram. Boy. Alexa, turn off timer. Uh, Alexa, set three minute timer. 55, phonetic reduplication. 315. Against those who say, let's dispense straight away with proverbs that may have grown too cliche, I firmly invey and thus put them to pray. Why anchors away when truth's here to stay? Uh, maxim, maxim. Axa Maxim. Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Progressive phonetic behedment. Now is the time for spring cleaning. It's also the time for spring crows. Mowing and rosing, pushing and pulling. My back thinks it's time now to O's. Uh, so I want, I, I kind of want it to be cho chores, but I don't think that that works. Mostly because chore, like if, if, if you take CH, it's just mowing and weeding. Rest, maybe. Mowing and trimming. Aquila's got it. Aquila, what do you got? Oh, break. It's also time for spring break. Rake and ache. All right, Alexa, turn off timer. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Now. 57, false adjective. Uh, four is non-MW usage, uh, usage and can be sung. I am the very model of a guru I can answer. The hard questions like that old guy in the Pirates of Pentacle and Penzance or the chimerical of duty. I am expert in my fields, a lot like Star Trek's Mr. Chimer was at putting up the shields a lot. I utter grave pronouncements in the older sense of weighty or authoritative, not the current gloomy like who's mate Eeyore. And once the info's out there, I consider saying Morrison and stopping this while in this flat before they bring the chorus in. Uh, so Sulu. Uh, and I'm, so Guru is probably what we're going off of. But what is the adjective that results from guru? Uh, and I'm guessing that if we just simply looked up the uh, uh, the slave of duty. So is it Sulu? Because I feel like it's Sulu. But I'm not sure what it's it's based off of. I see Guru and Grave both in here, and that would work. I just have no idea why. Alexa, turn off timer. I think we can go the remaining 15 minutes without timers. Uh, so Alexa set timer for 12 minutes. Setting timer, 12 minutes, starting now. All right. And so that's pretty much uh, what we just simply, like whatever, whenever that goes off, we got to stop. First sound change, six, seven, four, clued in order. I'm headed for the curling game. I hope the abs will win. I've got Italian whirling snacks and can't wait to dig in. I'll wash them down with whirling, add that Asiatic zip, and hope the ice works out for us to make it worth the trip. I'm headed for the soccer game. The Habs will win. I'm not sure what the Habs... I'm assuming the Habits might be a team. Uh, oh, hockey. 
Saki. I, I, I'm not sure what the seven is. That's the only one I can't quite get. I, like, I kind of want it to be Noki, but that's not right, because that doesn't rhyme with hockey. It's not a first sound change, I should say. Um, Hologra, what do you have for the seven? Assuming I'm right with... Alexa, turn off timer. Did I say 12 minutes or 12 seconds? All right, I'm going to put Naki down. I, I always thought it was Noki. But maybe it's it can be pronounced Naki. Let's check that. Let's check the pronunciation. Alexa, how much time is remaining? Niaki is... Naki is a, an acceptable pronunciation. Okay. Alexa, how much time is remaining? We have 10 minutes left on the 12 minute timer. Okay. All right, so Naki is uh, an acceptable pronunciation of Noki, which just feels wrong. Uh, order takeout charade, four, five, three, five. When the two let loose, we ducked inside this quaint cafe to eat and get dry. While we sat and I ate a pork one, my wife looked up and stifled a cry. We saw Phoebe like some three to friends who strummed half the right, half the right alls, at least she tried. So three is probably owed. I, I kind of want one to be a chop. And two could be storm. All right, hold on. Uh, chop, storm, owed. And what's left over is ch... O R M E. So that's not right. I want maybe all the right chords would work. So we put in nod. There we go. Chop, storm, nod. And then if we put the whole thing together, we're going to lose the O P, the S T, and the M N O, and we're left with the chord. And that is 59. And I think that that is our last of the actual flats. So let me save this. We'll see how we're doing here. Way over the, uh, the amount of space that I had left there. Uh, sorry that it's pretty much just not visible at this point. Uh, so let's go back and we're going to go back to the regular flats in the first part. Uh, we had one that we missed uh, that was three. So let's go there. Phonetic transpogram, five, six, clued in order. The Saul so deliriously, burby, burby, seriously. Easy to divine if you beaver quick solutions. Hunt them down to pick solutions. Breezy, this one's fine. And I want a beaver to be desire. Uh, transpogram is a specific type of transposal. Where it's just basically the two halves are, are changing. Phonetic means that you're doing it with the sounds. Ultra, ultra, seriously. Search, maybe? Uh, although I'm not sure how you would transfer on that. Verbi's got to be a five. Truly could work. Lee true. Rudel, Rulit. Really? 
All right, I'm not seeing this one, so I think we're we're probably not going to get it. Uh, overloaded, overloaded phonetic paste over eight four can be sung. My daddy was the family hackman. My mama gave him to tips, and I was born to pound the horn with pointers coming from my lips. From my lips, they call me baby driver. And once upon a quad of wheels, I hit the road and I'm paid. But if I'm your rider, I wonder how my steering feels. And for those of you who were here last week, you did actually get to hear me drive. Uh, uh, you got to hear me sing it. Um, but I want eight to be back seat. And a paste over, just so we have a correct. is not listed here. That's not good. I was assumed it was part of it is going to, maybe it's in the explanations here. Yeah, unfortunately that's not giving it. Um, taxi Oh, yeah, that works perfectly, Hologrove. Backseat and taxi. Which I, that is a clever find. All right. Uh, so for the first half, that was the only one that we were missing, aside from three. Uh, for the second half, we are missing 26. Overloaded third sound change, five two four. Uh, I still want that to be. God, I don't even remember what I wanted that to be. Nashi, I think. Um, I wonder if it's a city in Japan, or like a town, maybe. Akila's got it. What do you? Uh, go ahead and feel free to share. here. Haiku Haichu. I've never heard of Haichu. Wow, okay. That works perfectly. All right, what is next? Uh, I think the only one left from that is uh, left over is 47. I'm Rebus Y. All right, um, my toothpaste, cream, shampoo, and such aren't as they seem. I'll tell you why, there's no tricks. I'll just add our water to the mix and stir it in. This gives me my extra flexibility with a sans serif X as L. Could be chai, could be times, could be by. I'm stingy, I'm scrimpy. I still feel like it's weird that the shaving cream is missing a shaving. And it feels like there's a big space there. But trying to include that somewhere in here feels really difficult. I mean, denture cream could be it. But then where do you put denture in here? Given that a seven four four seven, I'm I mean, it could be seven could be explain. I like seven as explain because then but then that feels like. We need to have it. 
let me explain why, but it can't be this poem explains why it has to be a, a plural or a first person for it to be explained. The L becomes an X, plain. Oh, we need to fully, fully figure out 24. Did we not get all of Oh, that's right. We, we couldn't quite figure out the, the rubric, how to read the rubric on that. But I'm pretty sure the words are right, so... I'm stingy, I'm cheap, I'm frugal, resilient. <sighs> Alexa, turn off timer. All right, so that is time, and we're going to go ahead and call it here. And let me share with you the uh, what the correct answers were to some of these that we did not get. So I think I need the June issue. Okay. going through this. Uh, the very first one that we did was, in fact, Eider's Desire and Reside, if you remember that one. The one that we were missing, the three, um, three fifty is, oh yeah, it's Reef Inside Thrifty. Oh, no, it's not. It's almost re Reef Inside thrifty. Uh, thrifty. Um, all right, so phonetic transprogram. This one is super, super seriously easy to divine if you pursue quick solutions. Hunt them down. So that one you should have been able to get it. I'm actually surprised that it took me that, that long to get it, um, that we weren't able to do it. Uh, let's see. We've got Sleepy was correct. Slant. Slant. Particular. I'm going to move this to a different position. Hopefully that doesn't mess everything up. No, as far as I can tell, it didn't. Uh, let's see. Toilets. Uh, toilets was correct. Tardigrade, Metros, Tetrad, Mardi Gras. Uh, we had toilets. Uh, backseat taxi was correct. Uh, Quakerly, way curlier. T. Hanks, thanks. Patroness. Quirk, cake you, uq, iq, rq, uh, swerve, receipt, uh, electronic acceleration was correct, gender neutral sex drive, which we talked about whether or not that was really a good thing, and I'm pretty sure we'd all agree it's not. Uh, Luddit and diluted, Niagara are again, ta at, palimpsest. Uh, I'm not going to go through the full thing on this one, but we did get all of these correct. Rye rice, bold. Body Bogey, Boney Boxy, Chutneys, Patucket, Airedale, Skinhead. Okay. Here's how to read it. Uh, let's see. So let's go to 24. Let's pull this up on the screen so you can see it. This is CPA's haiku written. That's the whole thing right there. CPA's haiku written. This is new, N-U. This is D-H. Uh, this is X. Author is A. I last ed. 
it does not explain. It just says John McNeil, I last Ed. Maybe it's like, hey, I, the last editor of the Enigma. All right. Um, the yada yada. Wow. Okay, so the Q word, the Q word for day is this A in the first line here. It's supposed to be days I was going to St. Ives. I met a man with seven wives. And I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, haiku, haichu, Jack Bean, Jacobian, migrate, migrate, plateau of late. Uh, to, 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 we've got all that. Denaro, Denaro, star, star, for book stroke, for rival, rival. Da, 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 lazy, da, camps out tomato catsup prompt prompt uh, xenon dioxide was correct them's the break it's cuisine queasy caffeine coffin scows all right 47 wow okay so 47 uh this is bullshit i'm just gonna just say it's bullshit. Okay, let me do this. Star, star, star. Okay, so flexibility is lysum. Uh, the extra water makes these thin gels explain why. Which you can reread as L is something else, X plane. Um, this is, I, I, I think I've said this before. This is my problem with the Rybosh flats is it just always feels like there's just, it just, it doesn't make any sense like whatsoever. Like there, it just feels off and maybe it's so we didn't give ourselves some extra time, but yeah, I mean, we might've been able to get lysum from flexibility, but thin gels explain why it doesn't explain why your flexibility, like it, that's just, it's such a convoluted turn of phrase that I don't I don't buy the rest of the verse to help explain it. I I don't know. Just just I I really do not like the Rybosh flats. As you can tell. Knitter Trinket, uh Adore Amore. Okay. Okay was correct. K okay and KU. KO. Uh let's see. Sulu slave alo guru grave. And it still does not explain why. Uh hockey knocky saki was correct. Uh, and chop storm nod chord, and that is it. Um, those are all the flats. So we did pretty well. Uh, we got most of them. Uh, we did miss how to actually read this up here, but this was correct. Like we needed that extra space there, but this is correct as shown. Uh, and then of course you know we didn't get the the lysum thing. Oh, God, just no, just no. I like Ook Rebus's because. He does a lot of cluing as to both the rebus itself and how to read the rebus. Um, and that, I think, is just always a, a huge plus. Um, anyway, anyway, I'm not going to complain anymore. It is what it is. It is 11.04. I'm going to go ahead and hop off shortly. Let's go see if there's somebody to raid with the few of you who are remaining. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, I will be back next week. I will probably not be doing another Enigma next week. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is find some other form of puzzle to do. It might be an Oop cryptic. It might be uh, a puzzle book. Uh, I have a, a very old book of puzzles that has cryptics in it. And I think it might be kind of fun to photocopy it and actually do it by hand. Uh, there's also other things that I think we could do. Um, there's a there's a, a murder mystery thing I've got that I would be, love to share with you guys. There's a Goonies mystery I've got as well. Mm -hmm. Alexa, stop. Um, so there's a lot of stuff like that that I think would be a lot of fun. Thank you for the follow, Sublim Nali. So sad that we are right at the end of the stream. Uh, let's go see if there's somebody to raid. Uh, and as a drinking game, how many times do I say, oh, during the stream? 
There is, unfortunately, nobody is currently on right now that I can see. One of the other things that I want to do is, is I want to start going with a later runtime on Tuesdays so we can go right into uh, Quizzy Dance Stream. Excellent, excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed the chat. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, folks, uh, thank you all so much. And I will be back on Friday with a listener. And until then, uh, happy, happy solving. And end stream.